What's up guys, Fat Moose here. So today I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to uh, get a Cydia. So as you can see, Cydia is right there. You can't really see, can you? Doesn't matter. Um, basically what I've managed to do with Cydia is I've managed to make it so that I can still access my apps. So there you go, I can access apps and stuff. Um, it's pretty good and all that, so yum. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to uh, get Cydia on your phone just like that, so I can still access my stuff like this. I have I've currently got it on lock, but if you if you go to like the top right and scroll down, I can just do that. Ugh, there you go. No, I'm not going to teach you guys. That's for another tutorial. I'm going to teach you guys how to um, how to download Cydia. Uh, and get it just like this on your phone. So if we go ahead and uh, go head into my phone now. So first off, you're gonna wanna head over to scroll up and turn the Wi-Fi off and go into airplane mode. Then you're gonna, <coughs> sorry. So I forgot to mention, you're gonna need uh, two or more iOS devices. So you're gonna need an iPad, uh, or an iOS device, and an, an iPhone. So when this comes up, where it says you've on airplane mode, you head over to settings, and then nice and easy, turn airplane mode off, and turn it Wi-Fi on. There we go, RNS, and now wait for it to rejoin. There we go, head back into Safari. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and, t and go over to Cydia one sec guys so you want to go to cydiainstaller.net so when you go ahead and click on that link you will be met with this so what you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to scroll all the way down and where it says here if it would focus goodness okay this is not working so basically when you scroll to the bottom it says protected by copyscape do not copy now you're going to want to head over to your other ios device so you're going to head over to safari head over to the website and it says protected by copyscape do not copy so you're going to go ahead and type here copy scape I didn't even spell it fully. Oh, there you go. So it comes up. You go ahead over to their website. With this still open here. And then you can go ahead to here. Where it says type. And then type up city and store. Dot net. Go. And here you go, one result of cdinstaller.net, blah, 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 check cdinstaller. And there you go. So that's that's the start. So now what this will do, it will shoot up into your IP address to know that you have attempted to unlock to the Cydia. So this is how to basically jailbreak your phone and get Cydia on it at the same time. Um, so then what we're going to go ahead and do, so you're going to take your charger, which for me is charging right now, and you're going to have to... Uh, get a special transponder which connects these kind into normal iOS so into into that kind of iOS or if you have the newer ones you just get the oh, something like this that kind of charging dock I'm gonna go ahead and put mine on there you go so when that's in uh, so when that is in, um, you're going to go ahead, so now you will get a message usually, I've already closed it, saying you have now connected your uh, device. Uh, by the way, you do not, if you do not have one of these transponding things, it's fine, you, you, you can just take, let me take it off, take your normal charger like this, and you're going to take um, one of these here, the, the things that you use, staplings. Okay, I'm back guys. Uh, there we go. So you're going to take it like that. Where your charger is, uh, like this. You're going to hold it on and then put this inside. Just like so. Now you're going to go ahead and put plug that in to the device. And it should stick in nicely. There you go. 
nice. Um, so yeah, so now this will connect your Cydia on your phone, which is here. I might as well unlock it. I can't be bothered. So that will transfer your Cydia details onto this device. Um, so if, for example, I was to head over um, to settings, here's a good CD, Cydia, Cydia, Cydia hack. Is basically uh, you can change what it looks like on the top. So there it, you, you see it says 6.14 p.m. Uh, I can change that using the Cydia hack. So you should get, uh, you know where the tabs are here? If you head over to general and scroll down a little, you should find the Cydia tab. Uh, there it is. Now you're going to uncheck this box, scroll down, and there you go. So this firstly, oh, <laughs> one sec, my old transponder thing came out. So basically, this is um, the Cydia date changer so although it does look like the normal date and time changer don't worry it's nothing like this so if, if for example we would go ahead seven uh one hour you'll notice that here if it, if it would show it's changed the pixels have actually changed to 714 meaning that they've changed completely um and uh, now if we were to head over to any app uh, it's actually a time machine and you've moved an hour into the future. Indeed. So basically, um, what happens is, for example, in Adobe Brush, uh, oh wait, sorry, no, wrong app. Uh, in Adobe Draw, I was having a quick uh, time, it was like rendering out a time lapse. So let's see if that's finished now. One sec, guys. So. Once, uh, so I've managed to push it onwards, and as you can see, my time lapse drawing is rendered out. So if we can go ahead and watch this by tapping on it, there you go. So that's the finished product. Basically, what I had done, I had set it up for um, fingerprint scan. So I'd scan my fingerprint on this, and it's a very cool feature of Adobe Draw, uh, which is only available from the Cydia on my phone. Uh, basically, draws things using the fingers, so like every line. I can show you that, which I can't. Every single li So every line here has been drawn by my fingerprint. So this line right here for his chin, that was actually one of my fingerprint lines, uh, which is really cool. So that was edit that was rendering and had a long time, but since I used that cheat, uh, it worked. So then you can head back to the city. Oh, oops back to the Cydia setting and then go ahead and set it back oh hello <laughs> and then there you go guys this is how you get Cydia from um... <laughs> sorry he's he's uh, slightly autistic today so that's how you get Cydia from this phone um, onto your iOS device without requiring a computer or anything of that sort so i hope you guys enjoyed um and uh, as always my name is fat moose and i'm signing out